guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today what we're going to be making is Keto No Bake Chocolate Oatmeal Cookies with Toasted Coconut. Mmm, I hope you guys enjoy this. It will be a short video today. Um, I have lentil soup that I made, so that's actually what I'm going to be eating. And I already made the recipe for that, so today we're not doing a dinner recipe. We're doing dessert. Mmm, enjoy. So to start, we're going to add one half cup of natural peanut butter to a pan that's on the stove. And we're going to set our setting on the burner to medium low. And just so you know, I listed who this was inspired by in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. Next, what I'm doing is I'm adding four squares of unsweetened baker's chocolate to the pot. And that is 100% cocao. Now I'm going to add four ounces of softened cream cheese to the pot and two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter Now one teaspoonful of vanilla extract and one half teaspoonful each of almond extract and also imitation butter, it's Watkins flavor. Now we're going to add half a cup of stevia. One half teaspoon of sea salt. And now one half cup of unsweetened soy milk. And so what we're going to do now is just let that melt down slowly and blend in until we're able to add the oats. So we're going to kind of add the oats last when it's more liquidy instead of thick as the sauce is right now. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make the toasted almonds with the toasted coconut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the almonds and then I'm going to add that to a bowl with some sugar-free syrup and some stevia and also the unsweetened coconut. We're going to mix that all together with the sugar-free syrup and the stevia and we're going to place that on parchment paper on a baking tray. So these are the almonds that I'm using and they're really pretty good and I'm just going to chop them up. So this is the coconut I'm going to use, and as you can see, it's unsweetened. So what I've done is I've lined a baking tray with parchment paper. And I mixed together my almonds and my coconut, and now I'm going to pour in the remaining ingredients. Now what you're going to do is add half a cup of sugar-free syrup, and then two tablespoons of stevia, and I messed up because I poured one in before filming it. So it is two tablespoons, not one, and I will make a note of that. Now add that to your baking tray, and then your sauce should just be about ready to add in the oatmeal. I just wanted to make sure that it's the oats, so it's not actually oatmeal. Make sure that the oats are dry and not cooked. And you're going to add about two cups of oats. If it's too thick, you can, you can thin it out with a little bit of unsweetened soy milk. Okay, so I stirred it, and that's what it looks like stirred. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more soy milk to thin it out. Okay, I tasted it, and it definitely wasn't sweet enough. So I added half a cup of stevia and half a cup of sugar-free syrup, and that tastes much better. Okay. 
All right, guys, so my coconut and my almond mixture looks pretty toasted. I'm going to pull it out of the oven, and I'm going to add it to my cookie mixture, and I'll show you some video of that. I'm trying the batter, just so you know. Okay, so I'm going to take this cookie scoop or this ice cream scoop, and I'm going to form, uh, oops, <laughs> I'm going to form little balls. And I'm going to put it on my parchment paper on a baking sheet or a baking tray, and I'm going to put it in my freezer. All right, guys, so I took some video of that, and I'm still tasting, still tasting, still tasting. Anyway, I put that in my deep freeze, and so hopefully after maybe 20 to 30 minutes, they'll be the right consistency. I can pull them out, and I can eat one. Yum, yum. All right, guys, so my cookies have finished, and I'm going to taste that. Mmm, yummy. Um, I'm probably only going to have half of this because I'm really honestly not used to eating that many sweets. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Have a good one.